In Monte Paolo, Anthony had finally found peace in serving his Franciscan brothers and devoting long hours to prayer and meditation. One day in September 1222, he was asked to attend the celebration of an ordination to the priesthood in the city of Forlì. The preacher, however, failed to arrive, and Father Graziano, Anthony's provincial, ordered him to preach at his place. After all, you are a priest. Everyone was amazed when Anthony preached with great uh, erudition and fervor, warming them with his face and lighting them with uh, his simple and clear words. His quiet period of retreat in the Hermitage of Monte Paolo had come to an end. From now on, Anthony would be called upon to preach far and wide. God wanted him to be his spokesman at a very difficult time for the church attacked by so many heretics. St. Anthony, a Franciscan friar and a priest, was an extraordinary preacher and a great communicator of the Word of God. But is it the task only of priests and religious to talk about our Christian faith, or is it something that all the faithful should do? With great insight, Pope Francis said, the people of God is a people of disciples because we receive the faith and a missionary people, because we pass on the faith. Therefore, let us pray. Lord of the harvest, through the intercession of St. Anthony, lead us to those who seek and give us faith, strengthen and courage to proclaim the good news. Amen.